Baseball is played on a diamond, which is basically just a square that's been rotated to look like this. Now, one thing that we know about squares is that we have 90 degree angles at each corner. All right, 90 degree angles and distance between each base on a baseball field is 90 feet, 90 feet, 90 feet, 90 feet, 90 feet. So from home to first, first to second, second to third, and third to home. With that knowledge, we're able to determine some things that we may want to find out, such as how far is the throw that a catcher needs to make from home plate to a second baseman or a shortstop in case someone's stealing. So in baseball, we got someone on first base, they're stealing to second base. Catcher's got to make a throw of how far, how many feet is that going to be? Well, we're dealing with a right triangle here. We've got a right angle, and if we were to include this green line, we would create a triangle. And what do we know about right triangles? We know that we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out all side lengths. Now, 90 and 90 are gonna be my legs. For those of you that need a reminder, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs and c is the hypotenuse. In this case, the distance that the catcher's throwing is going to be our hypotenuse. It is the longest side and it is opposite of the right angle. So we need to say 90 squared plus 90 squared equals C squared. 90 squared is going to be 8,100 plus 90 squared, which is 8,100, and it's equal to C squared. We're going to combine and find the sum of 8,100, 8,100. That's going to give me 16,200 equal to C squared. How do I get rid of my exponent? On, attached to the C, I need to take the square root of both sides. Square root of this and square root of that. I go to a calculator, I type in what is the square root of one or 16,200, and what I'm left with is 127.279. So rough estimate, C, or my distance here, my hypotenuse is gonna be 127.279. I don't need to go that small with it. I'll just say 127.3 rounded up feet. So a catcher throwing to second base on a baseball diamond needs to throw the ball 127.3 feet. Thank you for stopping by. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.